Welcome back to your home garage and in this video I'm going to review how cold weather affects your tire pressure. As winter creates many challenges for drivers, another one to add to the list is tire pressure dips caused by lower temperatures. Making sure your tires are properly inflated is an important part of getting the best performance out of your vehicle, especially during the winter months. After all, your tires represent the only point of contact between your vehicle and the road. So here's what you need to know about keeping your tires inflated. And let's start off with why your tire pressure is important. Your tires require a certain amount of air pressure, measured in pounds per square inch or PSI, to work properly. Too little or too much air can lead to poor vehicle handling, irregular tire wear, and the potential for a flat. Now there are a few ways to tell if you need air in your tires. If your vehicle was made after 2007, then it's likely equipped with a Tire Pressure Monitoring System, or TPMS. These systems will display a warning light on your dashboard if the tire has dropped below the recommended pressure. If your tire pressure is right on the threshold of setting off your TPMS warning, you may find that the TPMS light goes off after you start driving. That's because driving generates heat in your tires, and heat causes air to expand, raising your tire pressure. But even if your light goes off after driving, your tires are still underinflated, so add air to them as soon as you can. If your vehicle isn't equipped with a TPMS, you can always check your tire pressure by using a gauge. To use the tire pressure gauge, remove the plastic cap on your tire's valve stem. Then just push or screw the gauge onto the stem to get the tire pressure reading. If you don't have a tire pressure gauge, you could always pick one up at most gas stations or any auto parts store. Now let's talk about a tire pressure drop in colder weather. If it seems that your tire pressure warning light is going off more during the winter, that's because air contracts when it's cold, causing tire pressure to drop between 1 and 2 psi for every 10 degree decrease in temperature. This means that your tires could drop between 5 to 10 psi lower than required on a 24 degree day than they are on a 74 degree day Fahrenheit, or similar 24 Celsius to minus 5 Celsius. When it comes to inflating your tires, a common mistake made is to inflate tires to the PSI rating printed on the tire sidewall. But that reading is the tire's maximum inflation pressure, which is often much higher than the inflation pressure recommended for your vehicle. To get your vehicle's recommended PSI rating, check the sticker located in the door jam of your driver's side door. The recommended tire pressure should also be printed in your owner's manual. When your tire pressure is low, you should inflate them to the recommended tire pressure as soon as possible, as underinflated tires wear more quickly and unevenly. This will make them more susceptible to damage and wear and tear. Both handling and braking are compromised when there's not enough air in the tires. And if that's not enough, underinflated tires are also a drag on your fuel economy. So if you discover that your tires need air, you can inflate them with your own portable air compressor or use an air compressor at the gas station. Many gas stations have free air and are automatic, so just set the intended PSI. Also, take the time to carefully read the instructions if it's your first time, or ask the gas station attendant for help. But for a few dollars, it's worth investing in your own pressure gauge, as you may not be able to drive to the gas station and you don't want to risk damaging your wheels while trying to get there. Now to get the most accurate reading, you should check your tires after your vehicle has been sitting for a few hours and before you start driving. This is called cold pressure because it's the pressure reading before your tires and the air inside them have a chance of warming up while driving. You should also make it a habit of checking your tire pressure at least once a month. While you can rely on your vehicle's TPMS system, a warning light usually only goes off once the tire pressure reaches a certain threshold meaning your tires could already be underinflated well before the warning light comes on. And just because the temperature is dropping doesn't mean it's a good idea to overinflate your tires. Your vehicle was engineered to perform the best with the tires inflated to the manufacturer's recommended pressure. So just stick to those numbers and your tires will perform at their best. Also, if you think your tires aren't up for the job of winter driving, you might want to consider swapping them out. Temperatures aren't the only factor that can affect tire pressure. If you inflate your tires to the proper PSI, but then they're low the next day, chances are there's more than just cold weather to blame. Your tires are likely leaking air. A slow leak could be the cause of a small puncture in your tire, such as a nail, or a bad seal between the tire and the wheel. And let's not ignore potholes. 
Hitting a pothole can damage the inner liner of the tire, which allows air to escape. Either way, your best bet is to take your car to an auto center for inspection. And if your tire is completely flat, then you have a few options. If your vehicle is equipped with a spare tire and you're comfortable with the challenge, you can save some time by changing it yourself. And I have a tutorial on how to do that on this channel. Or if you'd rather have a pro do it, your local roadside assistance can help. It's an extra service that doesn't cost a lot, but you'll be glad you have it when you need it. Now you know how cold weather affects tire pressure. So put on your coat, head outside, and check the tire pressure yourself. And make sure you help to keep this channel going by hitting that like button, sharing this video with a friend. Also, please comment below as I reply to all. Plus, don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you next time on your own garage.